Wow, I sure do feel like a massive fucking stone today. Anyway, um, today we're doing Smileton. Um, are we ready to queue? Yeah. Yes. Is that stone the moon? Um, well, no, it's the face that where the entrance to Smileton is. Oh. Which well, is based you on the great stone ass of Mars. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to see the other side. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, I think the premise of this one is just when they had, like, the habitation pods for the people, but they thought that we were going to be bigger than we were because Asians were bigger. Um, you know, <laughs> the, the, you know. Uh, the, they went unused, so then they were trying to, like, convert them into... I don't know, I don't remember the details. They were trying to, like... They sent, like, a robot down there to dig it up. A robot called the Big Cheese. And now it's out of control, and we need to go stop it. That's it. I like the Big Cheese. Yeah. I like the giant... Big Ether Cheese. I like the giant Ether Crystals floating in a ring around the moon. They really tie the place together. Oh, dude, can you watch, like, the Earth reveal itself? If you look at it from here? Or, not the Earth, you know what I mean? Ethereus? Because right now um, I can only see, like, a sliver of it. That would be cool, I guess. I have never, uh, bothered to check. When the smile is done... <clears throat> Liking this music already? Yeah, yeah, this, this dungeon's good. Love this dungeon. We've had to run it a great many times for the queues, and I'm still not really tired of it. What the hell is with this MC Asha bullshit? <laughs> it's because the place is like. I I think what happened with it is like the person who was in charge of it was indecisive about how they wanted it to be, and so the machinery is just kind of fucked up because it doesn't know what they want, so it's just making crazy nonsense. Good. Hmm. Yeah, losing my technical step. Because of fucking movement animations. And now this combat! Hooray! I wasted it! <sighs> See, when I saw an NPC panicking and being like, Ow, saying I something, there was combat immediately. Mm -hmm. so. Hold on. Here's a uh, noodle boy. Oh, noodle bit. Uh, haven't used Starfall Dance before. Is there a particular time I want to use it, or is it just on proc, basically? I don't remember which ability that is. It's a little um, lazy. I think pretty much all of those, you just use them when you get them. I, I right. don't... I, I don't know what any of them are because, yeah, pretty much every ability, I just use it as I get it, other than uh, the... I guess the... Is it technical step? Is that the four-step one? Yeah. I use that usually just at the start of boss fights, but... I will sometimes save it because it has a two-minute cooldown. Healer's got a hot date. Oops. I need to run high level content as anything other than Astrologian more often. The other day I was lamenting how I uh, haven't like ever used the uh, like, the Summoner gets some cool stuff at the high levels, um, 
where like the summons actually have like these extra moves you can kind of weave in with their main stuff and i just never use it because every time i play the class it ends up getting some low level stupid shit but uh here i should have chosen that and i just didn't think to. um the gimmick on this boss is that to the left and right you'll see there's these faces um and when you get hit with one it it toggles your color to whatever the color of the face is. Uh, you want to always alternate colors, never get hit by the same color twice. Okay. <clears throat> to start with, I don't think we're assigned a color, so you can just pick whatever, but... Yeah, you can see it's tethering to the right, so those ones are going to fire at us. Okay. Be mindful of what color you got hit with, because now we need the opposite. Alright. Just gonna push us back one. One, yeah. Hey. One unit. Okay, I almost died from that. Uh that was that was my fault. I couldn't see you. So I got pushed in here. So I want to get hit with a red, which would mean hit. You're blue. Oh, I'm gonna get die. Right. Is that boss just called Face? Yes. It's a good name for a thing. You, you leave him alone. He can be what he want to do. He is Face, and is tr he's trying his base. That just reminds me. So there's a you know an old Nick Jr. mascot that was just called Face, and he would always go, "Hi there, Face here." Yeah, I remember. And Faith. um, in the beginning of BA3, Haley says, "Hi there, Haley here," or, or whatever, and people are like, "Oh man, is that a Face reference?" I'm like. No, fuck. Well, it is <laughs> I was like annoyed that it ended up being the same thing. Such destruction was not my intent. <laughs> That's irony. So we're using technical step right now. Yeah. I don't know what's optimal for Dancer, I've never looked it up, I just play the class the way that I want to. If we ever uh, do high-end content where it actually matters, then I might need to look into it. I do what I want. What the heck is the re is the healer? What the fuck? I... Blade. I am. Oh. Uh... I see how it is. We saw getting people from the level 90 queue and they start, uh... Backseat gaming. I mean, if I'm doing something wrong, you know, I'd like <laughs> to know, I guess, but I suspect that they're just wrong? Because the only thing I can really be doing right now, if I want to maintain aggro on all this shit, is my AoE combo. Which I don't think heals me. But, um... I'm trying to think, because, you know, I don't use Paladin that much. Um, does the... 
What's the thing? Is it Requicast or something? The, like, magic combo? Does that heal you? No. Ah, uh, let's yeah, wait for them. Dana, 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 dana. I see a thing that restores MP. Yeah. Oh, Holy Spirit restores HP. It Use is the thing Rick I was Scott, then Confiteor. Oh. Well, I don't do that for trash pulls. What the fuck? I do that during boss fights. Maybe, Maybe I should be. I don't know. Ah, oh, shoot. I did that the wrong way around. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this does have a three hit. Oh, four hit now. Okay. Oh, alright. Sure. I never knew that because I don't run level 90 content. Uh, he's going to emit a circle AoE where he's pointing, so fuck. be away from... Fuck that! I didn't know it was where he was pointing. I got away from him. <laughs> now these two, where they're pointing, they're gonna emit a circle, not pointing anywhere. some distance in front of them. It's yeah, they have a frontward direction. Oh, just so the two circles facing? over there. Yeah. I feel like that's not variable. It's not. Oh well, the direction they're facing, yeah, it is. It looks like they were set to that would like that would always be forward. Well, prepare to be surprised. Well, I'm not gonna find out until I run this dungeon again. No, we'll do it find again. out right now. The something about the way you said it made me think that they were gonna spin before doing it. But it's what I'm saying they is spun the, before doing it right now. Yes, but it, I I thought the first time they did it was also gonna be sarcastic, but it's. What I'm saying is the first direction they face is always forward, right? Uh, I think it always starts that way, yeah. Okay, that's a, that's all I wanted to know. But afterwards, it's just whatever whatever direction they happen to Yeah, I, I've, I've got it now. I just that, that genuinely confused me. I'm not trying to be difficult here. I'm like, what do you mean where they're facing? How is it not just don't be at the back for that one? Dude. I on. guess it was the general case now, but yeah. There. And then we got this again. Although he's gonna die anyway, doesn't even matter. Get out of here. <clears throat> Do dungeons just never drop gear other than accessories? Like no, they up. can. Um, there's a pattern to it. Um, I mean, for one, accessories are the most common thing, but um, the dungeons that are part of the post game that are introduced as part of the base expansion will never drop gear. So this and uh, Stigma Dreamscape will not drop gear. They will only drop accessories. But in the next patch that a dungeon is added, that dungeon will drop some kind of gear. Were you, like, getting close to dying earlier when they told you to do that different move, or...? I mean, yeah, but not any more so than a healer would normally be expected to and then just heal anyway. I don't know what this has changed. I am noticing that Requiescot's actually on a low cooldown, which I didn't realize, and I didn't realize it triggered a four-hit combo with this thing down here. So yeah, it's I, good that I know that, but I 
I most of the time cannot be making use of this. Like, see, I'm dying right now. Like, okay, now I've got my thing back. And looking at the healing it does, it's not much. I don't know what they're talking about. Eh. They're going to have to heal me anyway. Yeah, I don't know. They were probably just noticing I wasn't doing that because I wasn't getting the stacks of the thing and then spending them. And were like, hey, you should be doing this. It's like, okay. I guess I appreciate knowing that. I wouldn't have figured that out for a while, but... Yeah, I don't use Paladin frequently enough to remember. I know that uh, something about how that attack worked changed during a update a while ago, and it, I... I never remember how what it did in the old version versus the new one. Yeah, Big Cheese. He's just a boss from Sonic 3D Blast. Biggie Cheese with a big iron. Yep. I remember this boss being pretty trivial. It's just... Reminder that, it's for the, uh... reminder that for the longest time, I had only ever seen the, like, every other bar version of Big Iron, and so I thought that it was a guy saying something about Big Iron Hip not Big Iron on his hip. Like, that was the only version I'd ever heard. Um, Someone showed it to me. So this funny. boss, I wouldn't consider it trivial. This thing's mechanics are interesting. So it's going to distribute these two explosives. One's going to move on a fast conveyor and one on a slow one and then emit a circle AoE wherever it ends up. So you want to adjust accordingly. Okay, I uh, thought it was going to be the opposite. I thought that the fewer arrows meant Oops. slower. Uh, it do it basically it's more distance than speed. If there's okay. a bunch of arrows, then it's gonna go to you know the oh, back no. of the arrow. Okay. Head, so. Yeah, that that's a that's more helpful. Well, I'm sorry. Yes. I'll just let Josh explain it. I wasn't you explain to, it. I wasn't trying to be passive aggressive. No, that's fine. Um. Um. There's also a. Huh? But what um, about the landmines, though? I was trying to avoid the circle AOEs. Well, where we're standing here was the safe spot. I, I didn't know those were going to take so long to fucking go off. I thought those were, like, get as far away from them uh, mechanics. Oh, those, yeah, landmines are just, you know, don't be in them. Uh, it also has a serial strike, which it's doing right now. Oh, on me. <laughs> Damn, I am bad. Don't mind me. This is why I hesitate to say just follow me around, because I fuck up half of all mechanics. Uh, okay, back here should be good. This is a little awkward, yeah. But, uh... uh, yeah, sure, okay. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Haas. Yeah, uh, see, I didn't register like these as, Jake. like... Uh, yeah, serious. Move quickly. I didn't register that as, like, you have to dodge both at the same time. I thought those mines were going to go off first and then the other thing. Plus, sometimes he throws in the serial strike just for fun. Oh, I didn't even fucking see what was going on there. Okay. Too busy looking at my own fucking Gosh. mission. My, my melee up time. <laughs> Oh wait, are you a samurai? Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. I thought you were a dancer for some reason. I'm a dancer. Like, get out of my melee uptime, man. I mean, I am fucking up. I'm just, like I said, I'm paying too much attention to my own rotation. That's fine. Um, Samurai's got a lot going on. And this boss ain't that hard. We'll be fine. Even with all the fucking up, he didn't really put any of us in danger at any point. Yeah. <clears throat> it took me a minute to, like, actually figure out how, to, like, I knew how the mechanic worked after the first one, and then I still took, like, a minute to be like, okay, this is how I adjust my movement accordingly. For some reason, I kept just thinking, oh, the, like, the fast one's on the left, so I go on the right, and not, you know, thinking, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, one of those, okay. it's one of those things where, like, the mechanic makes perfect sense. It just and takes a bit to kind of grasp it. Yeah, you have to plug in the connection yep, between it. between yeah. the understanding and then the actual like, right. input. Right. What is a Fof comp Fof window? I have no clue. Um, 
I'm looking through my abilities to see if there's anything... Oh, fight or flight. Okay, this is the damage buff. Uh, yeah, that makes sense what they're saying. <clears throat> Apparently, they were not only healing all of us and paying attention to boss mechanics, but also watching what buffs I had <laughs> and noticing when I was or was not using things that I should be. Not sure if I should call that doing the mostest or just, you know... It's a form good at the game. No, it means shot. they know the paladin class. Damn it, game. Good shit. More material for me to fucking get rid of. Unless it's nine, I guess, in which case I'll hang on to it. More metal for the mill. Anyway, as I said, I sure do feel like a massive fucking stone today. Um, I know this is a short one, but last time was literally almost three hours, so... Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, if this isn't enough content for you, what's wrong with you? Alright, goodbye.